Assalamu alaikum. I am here at the Royal Docks in North Woolwich uh, at Muhammad Ali's arts con art installation. Uh, Nomad is what it's called. And you see the Trent structure behind me and people go inside that tent structure and share their thoughts uh, about their faith. Not only that, but he has uh, different writing around people have shared their thoughts uh, about faith and other problems they've had in life and even poetry uh, that they've had. And I've got Brother Muhammad Ali with me here today. Uh, Brother Muhammad, Salaamu Alaikum, how are you? Salaam, I'm good, thanks, yeah. Excellent, thank you. So why you chose the Royal Dock specifically to bring your nomad here? Um, the Royal Docks is uh, uh, supporters and partners that I've been kind of in a relationship with for some time now. My arts organization, Soul City Arts, and we, they've come and seen our shows and they like what we do. So they invited us really pretty much just to kind of give us space to, to take, bring the work that we do. And, you know, it's bringing these narratives around prayer, um, about Islamic prayer, du'as, as you've seen here, into you know, it's, it's always nice to go and kind of go into spaces where you're not just preaching to the converted. Absolutely, you're right. And coming inside here, it's an experience, a very therapeutic experience. Is this something you were trying to go for? Because it always feels like people are sharing their deepest thoughts. Um, absolutely. I mean, a lot of what I do, those who know my work, it's always trying to um, embed and intertwine kind of elements of faith and create sacred, quite kind of spiritual space uh, and kind of themes within the work that I do. I mean, I think often in the arts world, that crossover between arts, when I say the arts world, I'm talking about the arts sector, the kind of mainstream arts sector, when often faith is perhaps, is a bit of a taboo in fact. It's like, oh, we don't talk about faith in the arts. We don't kind of explore it enough. And if we do, it's in a very, very provocative, very, you know, the typical kind of way we see where it's, you know, but for myself, which is something which is embracing faith in a celebratory way within the art. Um, and also not in a kind of preacher way either. It's more just ex just embedding faith and saying this is who we are, this is what we do, in a kind of non-preachy way, you know, in a non-fluffy way that we might see in, a, in often in the kind of interfaith world. And and I don't do that either. I don't I don't see what we're doing here is is very much about kind of just some kind of uh, propagation of it, of of our preaching. But it's just this is us in a confident, bold form, and we're just exploring who we are. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of what we, we try to do here. Perfect. Okay, so if we walk down, I want to actually show our viewers some of the art installations that you've done. Um, I also wanted to ask what your definition of a nomad is. I mean, look, uh, we, in terms of nomad, the concept of, of traveling and being in a kind of a state of, 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 of things being in a fleeting moment, if you like. And that's kind of this, this, this dunya, isn't it? That's what, one thing I've always felt like how insignificant as Muslims. Yeah. That, this world is literally, you know, like just something that is just passing through. Yeah. It's a, it's a stop off on a, on a longer journey, right? And this nomadic existence is symbolic of that really, of that journey in life, of how the nomadic people are just moved from one place to the other and not really kind of embedding themselves in one place. And that's kind of where the idea comes from really. I'm, I'm also a fan, as you can see, of kind of dystopia and kind of films like Blade Runner and, and kind of Mad Max, if you remember the old films. So that kind of, uh, lighting things beautifully and taking that kind of Bedouin nomadic lifestyle as you've seen with kind of draped material but then also lighting them in a kind of as if we're in the year 3049 or something you know so it's kind of like sci-fi Bedouin uh, kind of injected with a bit of a bit of in Islam and sacredness um, so that that nomadic existence is what I wanted to just make a pause for thought there's not enough spaces where we can go and just stop yes we have a uh, um, places of worship we have masjids we have Islamic spaces but somewhere where people can all gather and that's people of different faith and all faith or even of no faith for us to kind of stop and pause and ask each other, each other questions like what do you believe in what do you have faith in what do you pray for what are your du'as what are even our du'as that's what we're dissecting here and trying to kind of immerse around the viewer so looking around, looking behind us, uh, there's different writings here. It's not necessarily English. Uh, so I want to ask, who wrote this? This has been a, a number of years of collecting the, the innermost personal du'as, thoughts and reflections of the communities, right? So we have we started off in Birmingham a couple of years ago where people contributed with their du'as and basically graffitiing with these marker pens onto prayer mats, right? They're actually kind of like um, 
modeled on prayer mats, not actual rugs, because obviously the pen wouldn't go onto a rug very well. So we've recreated these blank prayer mats for people to and we invited them and we couldn't stop them. There were people were pouring out their hearts because there's one thing having a dua internal and it's floating around in your head, which is the place where, you know, I guess it should be or it's perceived should only be there because it's personal and it's private and it's between you and Allah. But when you ask people to share that and scribe it and write it down, there's something quite, um, quite surreal about that because you're making you're visualizing people's du'as and then not only that you're placing them all together into a space where you're swimming in the minds of of the ummah if you like in the languages of somali of urdu in bengali in arabic in french in german and you're kind of like going these are people's personal du'as for people to see and that doesn't happen nowhere will you see the, what they pray for so that's where this quite quite as we like we like to see is it is. It's very special, I feel like. Uh, just behind this, I wanted to ask you to read one of these uh, for our viewers, if that's possible. You can choose which one. I mean, I won't choose that because that's Somali and I don't know Somali. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, look, I don't know what you've chosen, but let's see. Oh, my Lord, I see so many people suffering from mental illness in my area who help me to support my son to recover. I ask you to make our community one that helps those without support. Please protect them from harm as they wander the streets with only the waswasa in their minds for company. I mean, I'm glad you chose that one because that is quite special. When you see that, it's like you totally connect with it and you realize here's someone calling out. And there's, there's, a, there's, something, there's something quite unique about reading and reflecting on people's du'as because it makes you reflect on yourself. And I mean, I think that this, you know, I, I, I just feel I, I, there's nothing beats the empowering of people to just empower themselves. The, yeah, and it's not contagious. Infectious is the word I'm looking for, right? Contagious is negative, but infectious be, makes you want to write something down for others to see as well. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to go to Kate over there from the Royal Docks. Uh, if you are in London and you are free this weekend from the 24th to the 25th, come down to the Royal Docks. Make sure you see Nomad and make sure you're available. Bring your family down. It is really a space to see. Now I'm going to come over to Kate. Kate is the director of the Royal Docks. Hi, Kate. How are you? Hi. Hi. I'm good. Thank you very much. Yes. So can you tell me about why this location? Why Nomad for the Royal Docks? Oh, well, um, I actually work with Mohammed. Uh, when I was running Bloomsbury Festival and he did a really beautiful piece of work for us which was called A Few Pounds in My Pocket and it was about Bangladeshi communities when they came over to England in the 1950s and it was very transformative in terms of the relationship that the festival had with the Bangladesh community that when we did a project with all of that community but also we, then he came back about six months later and did a project with the young people and it was really transformational so when I came here to the Royal Docks, which was just in lockdown, we were in communication straight away about whether or not um, it would be interesting to do a project here with the community here. So really the project's been in the making for about three years. So we've been in discussion about how that project might work. And um, then I went to see the earlier manifestation of this work in and it just had such a profound impact again. I suppose um, the, the, the work really to people of, of, of multiple faiths and none. And so although it has a very particular resonance for, for his own faith, actually it really um, was quite a profound piece of work and having quite profound impacts of people. And so now at a time when there's so much challenge in the world, it felt I mean, to be perfectly honest, this was the time that the piece of work was coming forward, but actually it was the perfect time for this piece of work to come forwards and to give an opportunity um, to engage with what they're experiencing internally, but also to reflect on things like the prayer mats and what other people are saying and um, experiencing other people's uh, engagement with their own faith and their own internal dialogue. Felt perfect. Really Perfect. Thank you so much, Kate. That was lovely. So we're actually going to take a little tour down to the tent itself. I'll show you around right now. I think there's people inside. They're sharing their thoughts. Uh, of course, you go inside and you're met with a nomad uh, and he asks you a series of questions. You just go in through there um, and you can either share via video or you can just say your thoughts out loud. Um, so if you are available uh, on the 23rd, uh, 24th and 25th of this uh, weekend, please do come down to the Royal Docks and yeah, thank you for joining us. Back to you at the studio.